Well, it's good to see everybody. Um, before we dive into my team, just want to do congratulate Commissioner Delaney uh, on an amazing run, uh, just being in the conference for the last six years and being around him and what he's been able to accomplish uh, during his tenure has been incredible. Um, also excited to be a part of Commissioner Warren's uh, new, new regime. Uh, just funny how life is full circle. When I was a little kid uh, growing up outside of Philadelphia, uh, my father was the volunteer uh, coach at the University of Pennsylvania, and the, the backcourt was Fran McCaffrey and Kevin Warren, and I was the ball boy. So uh, it's funny to, to, to see how things turn out later in life, uh, but excited to have those. Also want to welcome Fred and Juwan uh, to the conference, uh, two great basketball guys. Man, when you look in the room and you're amongst all the head coaches, you, you feel honored to be a part of such a great group. And um, although personally I'm a little down because I, I used used to feel really good about being in the room, about me being the best player in the room. <laughs> and uh, if I'm being quite honest, I think I just got knocked down a couple pegs uh, with those guys. So anyway, uh, with our guys, obviously uh, it's a new phase uh, to our program. You know, what we've been able to do over the last six years through the ups and downs. Uh, we had a great group of guys that accomplished a lot of things, you know, when we came in and you know, won over 100 games, went to a tournament, you know, advanced far in a Big Ten tournament, um, you know, did a lot of things in the history of our program that a lot of people even in this room thought would never be possible. And so uh, it was a great group of guys. And as I look into my, my locker room now, uh, it's a whole new group. And for me, that's very exciting. Uh, you know, we have eight freshmen and sophomores, uh, and it reminds me a lot of, you know, kind of what, we were trying to build when that McIntosh Law Pardon Lindsay group kind of started their journeys. They're, you know, I feel good about our young talent. I feel like we're on the right track towards our future. But obviously, I understand from afar where expectations can be because you look on paper and there's a lot of unknowns when you look at our roster. Uh, but but it's exciting as a coach to kind of dive into that and 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 grow and try to build and see what we can become. Uh, we have three veteran guys. Uh, A.J. Turner and Anthony Gaines are two returning guys that we're going to really lean on for leadership, consistently veteran presence. Um, and then outside of our, our eight freshmen and sophomores, our, our other veteran player hasn't played organized basketball since his senior year of high school as a grad transfer in Pat Spencer. So uh, there's a lot of new guys, a lot of youthful uh, excitement, exuberance. Uh, I feel good about our young talent. We just have to grow. We need experience. And as you guys know, um, the Big Ten can be a, uh, a, tough, a tough training ground for young players. And that's why we got to stay the course. We got to continue to get better. Um, and and I, I, feel, I do feel real good about where the future of our program is heading. Our, our young group, I, the talent is there. The attitudes are there. They work hard. You know, I feel like we have a lot of pieces that can become outstanding players in our conference as they gain experience and 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 hopefully get better with with our skill development and, and in our system. So, um, you know, just things are on the up and up, in my opinion, even though the last two years from a win loss perspective is not where we wanted to be. Uh, but you move forward and and excited to see what we can do with this group. You know, the Big Ten is going to be. Murderers Row again, just like it always is. A lot of great teams, amazing fan bases, great coaches, tough places to play. And you got to just take it one game at a time and, and try to put yourself in a position to compete every night. I thought we did that for the most part last year. You look at our record and it doesn't look good, but if you dissect what we did, I felt we were in almost every game, you know, and, and we just didn't close the deal. And that's where we got to get better. Uh, you know, we need to make plays late. We need to find a way to score late in games when you need to get those critical stops, uh, manage the game with, with time and score. And, and that's an area we really need to improve this year if we want to, you know, be, make a jump in terms of our wins and losses in the conference. So um, great to get started again and, and obviously open any questions. Thanks, Coach. We will open the floor for questions. Coach Tom Bruce, SportsIllustrated.com. Um, like a lot of people, I guess I'm shocked when I hear seven years already, but can you tell me a little bit about what you think of uh, 
where you're at as a coach now, seven years in, compared to say where maybe where you were three, four years into your time at Northwestern? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, I think as you come in, for me, um, you know, not a lot of guys. I've been was very fortunate to get an opportunity in a conference like the Big Ten with no head coaching experience. So, you know, for me, there's a lot of learning that goes into that. And, you know, I feel along the way uh, I'm still growing as a coach. You know, it's – I always say it's – I'm 45, but I've been doing this. I started at a young age, so I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I feel like I kind of have a unique uh, combination of experience, but yet still, in my opinion, very young in the profession. So I've tried to learn from all, all experiences. I feel I'm a much better coach today, you know, than I was – you know, hopefully seven years ago and, and definitely in the last couple of years, we've gone through some incredible highs. We've gone through some tough lows. And I think you learn from those experiences. Um, when you have an opportunity to coach against some of the greats in the game, you learn from that. You know, you learn uh, during a game how to make adjustments and how to manage your team and how to put your team in a position to be at their best all the time. And I think I've, I've learned a lot, a lot of things, that, and I'm still growing. I mean, uh, I think as a coach, if you ever get to the point where you feel like you got to figure it out, then, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not going about it the right way. I think the game's always changing. You have to continue to adapt. You know, that's the one thing I learned most from being around a guy like Coach K for all those years is he didn't stand pat with what he did. He always was willing to change as the game had changed and as the landscape of college basketball has changed. And so I try to always keep an open mind and learn from others, you know, watch other great coaches, other great leaders. And, and the best experience is, is or the best way to get better is just through your own experiences. You know, and I think what we've been through, we proved that it could be done at Northwestern. I think that was a huge thing. You know, coming into a place that it had 80 years of, of not winning, of not going to the postseason, of not, you know, and then showing that, you know, what you can win. And, you know, to be backed up with the commitment that we have from our administration to, to step up with a new arena, a brand new practice center that's going to be open in the next six weeks. Uh, there's an investment at Northwestern to be at a high level in basketball. And that makes me hungry to, to be even better as a coach and, and help deliver. Um, you know, to a lot of people that have invested a lot towards this. So um, it's, been a, it's been a crazy ride for six years. It's, it's gone really fast. Like you said, I can't believe I'm going into year seven, but, you know, I, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm as good as I've been from a coaching perspective, and, and I'm going to need to be because we have such a young group, and I'm, I'm excited to see what we can build with these guys over the next few years. Thank you, Coach Collins. Thank you.